Hey, what's going on? Hey, real quick, real quick. Do not pay attention to the captions. Do not pay attention to the captions. I did an audible in the middle of getting ready to post this. And so uh, I am going to do an ABC challenge. My mentor, Mr. Brian Bean, challenged us to knock out two letters of the alphabet using the ABCs of money. We're going to be talking about finances, particularly money. Uh, and I'm going to be using the letter C later on. <laughs> but for right now, I'm going to be talking about the letter T. You know why? Because I am maximizing my time and knocking this challenge out while I'm on my way to, guess what? Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell. So, yeah, we're going we to bust this T in there. So, if you tune in live, go ahead and uh, you know let me know what city and state you're tuning in from. How many of those hours you at work? Most people sleep anywhere from four to eight hours. A lot of people work anywhere from eight to 10 to 12 hours. Sounds like you still got almost a half entire day left in between there. The question is, what are you doing with that gap? Well, you know, some people say I'm, I'm cleaning, I'm cooking, I'm, I'm driving to and from work. Okay, after you did all that, there's still 96 hours in the work week in the week period that I guarantee you, you can squeeze something else in. So take time, take time. Don't, don't try to run from it. Understand that we're on a clock that constantly tells us how long it's gonna take to get there and what we gotta do to make it happen. But you can fathom and, and you can make the time when you actually put your mind to it. You know, let's talk about it. Think about the things that you have not really focused on uh, as far as time management and think about how much more you could have done with the time that you was allotted. I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, you're in your vehicle, right? I'm in my vehicle. I'm headed to a particular location and in route, I'm knocking out this challenge. How many more minutes do you waste in a day because you don't have good time management skills? It's tough to think about, but when you start thinking about it, you realize time is a type of equity and time is the only thing that we cannot create more of and we can't get more of it. So that means you got to spend it wisely. What's going on, Gail? <laughs> and it is true. So I'm asking each and every one, resist the temptation to waste time. Sometimes you got to unwind, take a step back, relax. You know, I had a lazy midday. But yet I'm back on the grind, knocking out what I know is true, what I know is going to get me to my goals by remaining diligent and managing my time wisely. So I hope y'all got something out of this. I hope you understand the time, uh, your, the way you think, all of those things go hand in hand. And when you neglect your time, you neglect what you know to be true for what you need to be doing. So, hey. God be blessed. This has been the letter T. I'll be back later with the letter C. Peace.